Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and how are you all doing? In today's video, I am going to be talking about setting up access to your GitHub repository using SSH keys. So let's get started. Now you might ask why should I use SSH keys for authenticating with GitHub? And the benefit of using SSH keys will be that it will allow you to authenticate to your GitHub repository without using a password. So the first thing that you would want to do in setting up your SSH access with GitHub is to create a public and private key pair. So you will need to go into the terminal and run the SSH keygen command to generate a key pair. So the command will be SSH dash keygen and dash T for the type for which I will to choose RSA and dash B is the size of my key and I will choose 4096 and it will then ask you the name of the key that you want to save and I will just choose id underscore rsa underscore test and I can keep the passphrase empty and now I have my key pair generated. So the way the key pair works is that for each public key, there will always be a matching private key and you would want to keep your private key secret and not share it with anyone. You will share the public key with the service that you are trying to access. So when the authentication happens, it will provide you authorized access on the basis that you are presenting your secret stored in the private key which matches against the public key that has been provided. And if your private key gets compromised for some reason, then it will open up a risk of unauthorized access to the service. Now I have opened my GitHub account on my browser and I'm going to upload the public key on the GitHub account. So I go to my profile and then click on settings. And then there is a section over here called SSH and GPG keys. And then I can import the new public key from the new SSH key pair that I have generated. So I can give the new SSH key any title. Let me say my desktop key. And then I can copy and paste the contents of the public key in here. So these are the contents of my public key, copy it and put it in here and click on add SSH key. So now it has stored the public key in the SSH keys location. The next thing that I would do is start my SSH agent by running the command eval ssh-agent and now that my agent is started I will add the private key into that agent by running the command ssh-add and the name of my private key file. Once this is done, I can go back to my GitHub and I can check which one of the repositories I want to clone. So for example, if I want to clone Flutter custom font repository, I can go in there and I can copy the SSH link. And then in my command prompt, I can just mention the command git clone and the repository that I need to clone. And there we go. So we have connected the GitHub repository using the SSH key and it's no longer asking me to enter my password. Now you will notice that once you run your SSH agent using the terminal, 
it will keep running in your system as a background process as we can see here and until you log off or restart your machine you could continue using the key that you have added in the agent if i go into my repository folder plot a custom font and run a git pull command you can see that it connects without asking for a password because it's using the private key that is cached in my SSH agent. Another alternative way of using the private key is by running the git config command. So git config minus e and I can modify the config for this repository. And I can provide the path to my SSH key in, in the settings over here. So under the core section, I can provide a command called ssh command. And that will be equal to ssh minus i and then the path to my private key file. which in, in my case is in my home folder. So I have provided the path to the private key file here. And then I will save my settings. Now if I go back to my processes and let me terminate the SSH agent process. Now if I go back here and do a git pull, we can see that it can still connect and it can still connect without a password. Now, both of these ways of connecting to my GitHub repository using SSH are still a bit insecure because if someone gets hold of my private key, they can basically get into my repository. So up next, I'm going to be looking at using KeyPass, which is a password management software to securely store my private keys and use that to connect to my GitHub repository. The KeyPass XC software is available in Ubuntu software, but beware that this version will not work. The SSH agent integration is not supported in the snap package. So what I have done is went on to the KeyPass XC website and I downloaded a version for Linux. And there is a distribution specifically available for Ubuntu. And I could just download and install it using sudo apt install keypass xc command. So I go in and open my terminal and paste the command in there. Next up, I will search for KeyPass XC and launch it. And I will begin by creating a new database. Let me name my database as my password safe. and click on continue and just leave the default settings and click on continue so I need to choose my master key password so I will choose one and confirm the same and done now it will ask me to save the master password file. So let me name it as my password save.
and for now I'll just save it in my home folder before I do anything else I will go into tools and in settings and I will ensure that in the SSH agent tab I have the enable SSH agent ticked already just click on OK and now we'll start by creating an entry which will hold our SSH key for authentication so let me name and give it a title saying SSH key for github and then I will go into the SSH agent tab and the first thing that I need to do is I need to check these two boxes add key to the agent when the database is opened and remove the key from the agent when the database is closed and in the external file I will have to browse and choose a private key that I need to use in my case it is id underscore rsa underscore test and I need to add this to the agent then we'll just click OK so now I have cached the key in the key pass I will just minimize this and go back into my terminal I already have my github repository cloned in the folder called flutter custom fonts so I will just check the config to ensure that I am not specifying the SSH key over there so I'll just run git config minus e and as we can see there is no reference to the SSH key so now if I do a git pull and as you can see it can connect so it's actually using the SSH agent via the key pass and my key is actually stored within the SSH agent securely so whenever I open my key pass I have to provide the master password to unlock the key and once the database is locked it won't allow the use of the key so this is one of the ways to securely store my SSH keys so that it can never be misused and this concludes today's tutorial of using SSH keys to authenticate with github and I have covered different ways on how you can use the SSH keys so I hope you find this video useful and thanks a lot for watching